Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. Today I'm talking about the Marburg virus. While there's been a Marburg virus outbreak in Equatorial Guinea, which is a country in Central Africa. Now, this is important because the Marburg virus is in the same family as Ebola. And why do I care? Well, because I know that our world is interconnected through travel and commerce, and we're just one plane ride away from an infection anywhere in the world. So here's a short synopsis about the most important things I think about this deadly virus. Well, first, the World Health Organization assesses the risk posed by the outbreak as high at the national level for the people in Equatorial Guinea, moderate at the regional level, and low at the global level. So folks, don't worry about this becoming the next pandemic overnight. Uh, what are the symptoms? The illness caused by the Marburg virus begins abruptly with high fever, severe headache, severe weakness, uh, severe watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, cramping, nausea, and vomiting typically start on the third day. Now, within a week, uh, like day seven or day eight, severe hemorrhage starts occurring, which can include blood uh, coming out of the skin, the internal organs, uh, or the orifice, such as the mouth, the eyes, or the ears. In fatal cases, death normally occurs on day eight or nine. This is a very deadly virus. The average fatality rate is around 50%, but as many as 88% of infected patients can die, depending on how they're managed. And people usually die from severe blood loss. As of February 25th, the World Health Organization reports about nine deaths from this virus in, in Equatorial Guinea, and about 35 people have been uh, in contact and about 200 are in quarantine. So how is it treated? Well, treatment is supportive. Currently, there are no vaccines uh, that have been licensed for this disease. There are no drugs. Treatment is supportive with IV fluids and replacement of blood loss. How is it spread? Well, just like Ebola, it's transmitted to uh, people through infected contact of bodily fluids of infected people or surfaces contaminated with these fluids such as bedding. And people can remain infectious as long as their blood contains the virus. So burial ceremonies that involve direct contact with the blood and the body can result in infection. Again, how worried should we be? Well, the world has seen this virus before. There have been 15 different outbreaks of Marburg virus between 1967 and 2022. Sometimes there's just one or two cases and it's contained. The largest outbreak was in Angola between 2004 and 2005. Now the current outbreak involves less than 50 people. All nine of the deceased cases in Equatorial Guinea were either in direct contact with someone or participated in the burial. Containment involves the usual public health measures isolation, contact tracing, education, testing, and avoidance of common burial practices. Researchers are uh, racing to test experimental vaccines. There are five vaccine candidates in the running that have shown promise in animal studies. So I am hoping that this uh, outbreak gets quickly contained uh, in Equatorial Guinea and does not spread outside the region. Uh, oftentimes these places are remote. So let's just keep our eyes on this. And no, there have been no cases outside of Equatorial Guinea to my knowledge at this time. But if you're traveling there, you may want to take some precautions depending on where you're going to be traveling. That's my message as always. My goal is to inform and uh, let us appreciate that we are all interconnected in our small world. Take care, folks, and be careful out there.